This is going to be a video about emergency preparedness for seniors. Seniors like myself that need to have the preparation already performed so we aren't running around trying to get everything together at the last moment when a disaster of some sort hits. So stay tuned. I'll give all this to you both in the video and in the comment section below with a list of everything I'm about to talk about. Before I go into the details, please do not hit the subscribe button yet until you have viewed the total video so that you'll know if you want more videos like this from me. If you like something you see, just touch the thumbs up like button and wait on the subscribe button until the end. I will remind you then. Perhaps you are retired or about to be and the chances are you live pretty much alone or at best with a partner. Also, both of you are not totally outdoor types other than around the pool or on the golf course. So, how do you prepare for emergencies other than hope they don't happen during your lifetime? Chances are, they will, however. Either a hard rain causing a flood, or a hurricane, or an earthquake, forest fire, or just a bad storm can cause you to have to leave your home in a hurry. What do you bring? Photos? Keepsakes? Your favorite chair? A pillow? All wrong. Collect those after you have the following ready at the door. I'm going to not only tell you what other professionals have said you need, but I will help you put them together so that you don't have to rethink what to bring at the moment of truth. Once you have these items ready and waiting for you to select those items you can carry in addition to what you need to survive during and after the cause of this emergency. I have relied on the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, along with ARP and American Red Cross, FEMA, as well as ready.gov, the government website, and others to put together these items. For a longer and more detailed disaster list for hurricanes, flooding, earthquakes, forest fires, I will be releasing a video on each of these for seniors like you and me to take a moment at this time to subscribe to my videos so you'll be notified as I put out each of these videos. To begin with simple, jot down a map of your home and the possible escape plan. Walk around the house, determine which window you could crawl out of, and break if necessary. It's better to figure that out now rather than if it's smoky and you are blocked from the doors. Find the alternative now that you are calm, or more so. Second, have a, or get a go bag. That's a container with everything I'm going to list below in the comments is already in the bag and ready to go. Just add a few items that I will also list as additions and you can head out the door and you'll be totally prepared. Feels good, right? To start off, you need the obvious things like a first aid kit, a flashlight, battery-powered crank radio, and your normal daily things like toothbrush, razor, comb, a brush. Those will be in the list also. However, some of the things may not be obvious or items you don't already have around the house, like a whistle, a fire starter, 
water filtration system, or even dried meals. Bear in mind, you're not going to break and bring a trailer up to the house and move everything in. You have to carry what we've listed and thereby keep the clothes to a minimum of two outfits, a few socks, underwear, since they take up a lot of room in the go bag. Primarily, these need to be also a list of friends, relatives, names, and phone numbers, along with doctor's contacts. And the meds list, all stored in a Ziploc waterproof bag. Your wallet and passport are also handy again in a waterproof bag, not in a pocket. Pick a relative that lives out of state to be the primary contact. So you share your input with them and all others can contact him about your position rather than you trying to call everyone that may have the same problem as you at that time. Don't forget to put in the simple things like wipes, hand sanitizer, and masks should be already in the go bag so you don't have to go looking for them. Hygiene and sanitation supplies, those are obvious but sometimes forgotten. Prepare for a scenario in which water is unavailable for personal hygiene and sanitation. Perhaps waterless shampoo, toothbrushes, toothpaste, combs, toilet paper, tissue paper, disinfected wipes, disposable bags, sanitary napkins, an extra set of clothing, and closed-toed shoes for each family member or friend you have with you. Why do you need to store a survival kit in your home? Survival depends on self-sufficiency. There will be several days or longer during a widespread disaster where paramedics or disaster relief organizations such as the Red Cross may be unable to provide to affected individuals. You will have a greater chance of surviving a major catastrophe if you prepare for major catastrophes in advance. The worst case scenario is that you lose power, but your home is still livable in a best case scenario. It's possible that you could lose the structural integrity of your home to the point where your family must seek shelter outside in the worst case scenarios. You could also end up with a family member being injured without assistance if the worst happens. In order to turn a dire situation into a survivable one, you need to equip your family with survival kit that will contain everything necessary. You'll find that listing and other listings below in the contacts uh, comments below and also a list of things in addition that you need to grab at the last minute to add to that go bag. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me and I will try to fill in any blanks. Or if you have any suggestions that I didn't already mention, then we'll be able to uh, add those in future videos. Thanks again for watching. As promised, here's the point where you can subscribe, add comments or questions, and hit the bell to be reminded next time I have a, a new download. And before you leave, check out this video.